This is the setup now. Um, people walking around the park. Black post board, you saw that earlier for the windows. Uh, USB rechargeable fan. It serves as a light too, and this thing lasts all night. And I'll point the camera at it. It's got like three speeds, and it works. Works better than anything I had. And there's the light part, and it becomes a strobe light after fact. Yeah, I think it's off now. Anyway, that's USB, USB rechargeable. Yeah, uh, handy. And if you could uh, bathe out here, just keep it simple, man. Use a microfiber towel, a spray bottle. And if that don't do it, get a small bucket and tabble. Like in Filipino style, you get a bucket with a scoop and you tabble. It's not overly complicated. People, uh, people in van life, they overcomplicate everything. Anyway, so the sleeping platform is basically a trifold uh, old... Uh, sitting chair slash sleeping platform that uh it's interconnected and i cut the head off or in order to get the fit flush into the back of the vehicle um i don't know it looks like it's six inches thick i'm not really sure it might be four anyway it was like a garage sale find that my mom had found like 15 years ago or 20 years ago for like five bucks so i took it i stole it from her and uh so that's the setup i don't run with these in the windows only do that at night and you see what i was saying early about the poster board you buy the thicker stuff from big lots so you know the name tag on here uh real board read ready board yeah and uh make pull tabs like that so that if they're a tight fit in the window you could pull them out like that so as you're pulling this thing if it's tight you'll rip the material so I built these so I could just pull the tab and pull the whole thing with with me. Thermo rest sleeping bag. It's rated to uh, five degrees. That sucker's really warm. Backpacks full of my laptop, other shit, to keep it covered so no one breaks in. I've got different electric shit underneath here. I run with a cooler and a collapsible chair and a little mat for the beach or whatever else. There's the cooler. Now just put uh, frozen bottles up there if I get a chance to be by someone's house where I could keep frozen bottles or, you know, ice or nothing, you know. I just wing it. Uh, I generally keep a $25 a day budget, you know, for food. You know, that's kind of my where I want, want my max to be. Sometimes you might overstep it. Sometimes you're under it. So you just kind of balance out. Little porta potty right down there. And the way I figured out the front was, because uh, the way the Subaru does with the back seat pops up like this, that same post board I use for the windows, I just set it there. And what I do is I use the more flexible post board and I taped it to another piece of post board. And I'll raise this up all the way up to the ceiling and I'll just clip it with these right here. And it blocks out that front window from anyone being able to see in the back. So that's basically what I do for that. Water is important if you're going to be on the road or going anywhere, which uh, I'm a stealth city life kind of guy. So but I carry that with me because you could use that to bathe with, actually, to be honest. Get a little hand towel or sponge. Probably better because it soaks up more. I cut this out. And there's some similar to Reflectix. I just cut it out because it covered the window better than the original sunscreen. It covers up the front windshield completely. Pulled out chair. And I have a uh, pure sign, let's grab it, pure sign, 300 watt inverter that'll convert 12 volt uh, electric to AC. So if I wanted to, uh, as I'm driving, if I wanted to power anything with AC, like a laptop that I wanted to recharge, I could. So that's how it's done. Keep it simple, USB fan. And uh, for light, I ever I generally just use the fan, but I also got this. Uh, excuse me, guys. I almost got ran over. Solar rechargeable lamp. Let me show you how that works. Bear with me; it's hard. Okay, right, that's what I was saying about that thing. And it's just similar to that USB where it has like, you know, that it charges USB or solar on the top, and they get hanging on. 
you know, like your clothes hook in the back. You can use that loop right there, pose out, and you can hang it. I bought these on Amazon. I, I forget what I paid, to be perfectly honest. Uh, when you collapse it, that becomes a spot beam right there. But this is the lamp body right here. And it's got three dimmers on it, basically a bright, a medium, and a low beam. And it. it's like a strobe, I think, something like that. That's the button there. So USB and solar, man. I just keep it on the dash. Put a little hand towel on there so it doesn't slide when I'm driving. And that's it. Real simple. Simple setup. Now you might wonder where I put my clothes. Well, I forgot to mention that. So let's go around to this side and I'll show you. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So when I travel, I keep things fairly simple i just go with two of these uh packing packs for their backpack or anything else and you can fit like four or five shirts in there plus a couple of socks and shit like that and uh i only need two of them because i'm pretty minimal so i don't i don't need to pack a lot so i gotta cut out now guys and i got my customized blanket for my sister in the philippines that sent me that